Hey guys, Average Joe here, and I am back with a very important safety video. I decided to make this video tonight because earlier today I had an exchange in the comments on another channel. And it was a very well-meaning gentleman who uh, was talking about a modification to these bases that you should not make. It is a very unsafe thing to do to your base, and I'm going to go over why you don't want to do that to your base. In addition, I'll show you some of the other capabilities of that safety feature that weren't the original intent of the engineers, I'm sure, but it's a, a an additional feature as a result of the way that they design these handles. What I'm talking about are the tabs on these bases. You can see them over there on the 552 Series 1 and on this 1090 base, they all have them. And if you were to flip over the 1090 base, there are six screws, and you'd find two assemblies inside, each one attached by two screws. And these are the tabs that you see poking out here and here. Those tabs serve two purposes. One was no doubt the original purpose that the engineers had in mind, which was a safety feature, and I'll explain why. But there is a secondary purpose, and that has to do with transportation. And I made a video about that. Uh, I'll go over the details again in this video so you understand what I mean by this as well. So, what are we talking about? In the other video on the other channel, there is a gentleman who suggested that when you're having trouble turning your dials, you can just remove the tabs from your base, that they don't serve any other purpose except transport, which is not true. Transport, is, and, and the type of transport he's talking about is also unsafe, and I'll explain why. But the primary purpose of these tabs is to make sure that your weights are secure in your dumb, dumbbell handle. So, this base, I purposely removed both tabs so that I can demonstrate to you why those tabs exist. And what it comes down to is the way that these handles operate. Now I'm going to show you here with a 552 Series 2 handle, but uh, when the handle is on a weight setting, the tabs the or the, the lips on the discs lock the plates into the handle. When the handle is in between weight settings, so in this case it is not on 5 and it is not on 52.5, it's in between. When it's in between, these plates aren't necessarily going to be locked well in this handle. And let me just show you here. So we'll put the handle on 5, which would be an empty handle. I'm going to slide in the smallest plate number one. If I put this on 7.5, it's on a weight setting, and you can see here that the tab on this plate is fully locked into the tab on the dial. So this is not going to come out. However, if you put this in between the two settings, you now have a situation where your tab is not only not fully on the lip of the dial, or the discs as the case may be, but your locking pin is not locked. This is free to rotate. You see how I just rotated that? So when it's on a weight setting, the locking pin is locked. This cannot rotate. The weights stay safely in your handle. But if it's in between a weight setting like this, that means that the tab is not fully supported by the, the tab on the weight is not fully supported by the lips and the, the dial is not locked. This is actually free to rotate right now. So what can happen in a case like that? Let me show you. Let's say you're, you know, you're, you're uh, rushing around, 
you're doing your workout and you set your dial and you accidentally set it to in between two weights. You don't notice that it's not on the weight that you intended, which might have been 7.5 in this case. So this dial would not be locked, okay? And watch what happens. The dumbbell is out of the base. It's not in the base. Now watch what happens when this unlocked dial accidentally rotates. Now imagine that you had it on, let's say, between 50 and 52.5, or worse, between 52.5 and 5. What's going to happen in that case is it would, you'd pull a handle up out of the base, and if this dial is not locked, which it's not right now because it's in between, and it rotates like this, this entire side is going to drop every single one of those plates on your feet, on your face, and it's not going to be pretty. <laughs> so Bowflex designed these tabs with a very specific function. They prevent you from being able to pull your handle out of the base if the weights are not set precisely on a weight setting. So I'm going to show you an example here. Let me move this base. So we have a base with tabs and we're gonna put this handle in. It's on a weight setting. So this system knows it's safe to pull the, the handle up. If I put it on another weight setting like 90, it knows it's safe to pull the handle up and it will grab the plates that it needs to grab. However, if I put this accidentally in between, I'm in a rush, I'm doing my workout, I don't notice that I didn't put it perfectly on 90 and I go to pull this out, what's gonna happen is I can't get it out of the base. That keeps you from accidentally lifting this handle out of the base when it's not perfectly on a weight setting. Super important because of what I demonstrated earlier. If you were able to lift this handle out with it set like this, and then you take it out of the base, you're going to end up with weights on your feet or your face or your chest. So let me demonstrate that now on this base. This base has no tabs. They were removed. They should never be removed. Put your handle on this base. Remember what I said. This base is designed with these tabs to prevent you from putting a setting on your dial in between two weights like this. But watch what I can do with this handle. So I'm going to put it in between here. It's in between there. It's between 10 and 90. And it's between 10 and 90 here. I can lift this right out of the base. But here's the problem. Neither one of these are locked. This side is not locked, and this side is also not locked. Watch what I can do. <laughs> I can move this. If I do, when it moves to whatever setting is nearest, any weights that are not part of that setting are going to fall from this dumbbell. So let's show you that in practice. I'm going to put this back on the base, put it on 10, take the handle out. Now I'm going to load this with some weights. So let me grab, I'm not going to put all of them. I don't want to make this thing crazy dangerous, but hang on one sec here. We'll do three on one side and three on the other side. 
we'll put our handle in the base with no tabs. One sec here. Now, I'm going to set it to, uh, let's see, I'm going to set it to 52.5. If all the weights were in, it would grab all the weights, right? Or sorry, uh, 90. I'm going to set it to 90. On 90, this dumbbell will lift every single weight because it should be a fully loaded dumbbell, right? If I had these other plates in here, it would lift them all, which is what you expect. But imagine that I'm in a rush. I accidentally put one of the sides in between 90 and 10. The other side's proper, but this side's a little bit off. Now, I lift this dumbbell, and the dial accidentally moves to 10. You can see how dangerous that is. <laughs> so, folks, don't remove your tabs. That is incredibly, incredibly unsafe, unwise to do. And I understand that he was well-meaning, but he doesn't, he, he unfortunately didn't understand the design of these dumbbells. And so in making that video, you know, he's got people on his comment thread that are saying, oh, thank you so much for helping me. <laughs> he, he helped them make their dumbbells unsafe. You don't want to do that. The other reason behind these tabs, and I call it a secondary reason because I don't think that it was originally designed for this. I think that this was a natural result of the way they put the safety mechanism in place on their, their handles. But let me show you here. Okay, so when, let me first put this on 10, we'll take this out. We'll put all these other plates back in. And I could have done this demonstration with all the plates. I'm doing it only with six of the plates, primarily because I don't want 90 pounds of plates falling out. <laughs> but um, one of the other th ways you can use these tabs is when you're transporting these dumbbells. So when you put your handle in the frame, remember what I said. If you put your setting in between two weights right now i've got it set in between 10 and 90. if you do that it's going to lock your um, handle into the base you can see it's locked into the base however it's really only because when this dumbbell is sitting in your car if you take a corner and the dumbbell falls on its side, the plates stay on the base. You can just go in your back seat, in your cargo area, flip it back up, and you're good to go. If, however, you put them on, let's say, 10, and you now tip while you're driving, everything will come out and you're going to be putting all these weights back on your bases because of, you know, taking a corner too fast. What I don't want you to do, which is very, very unsafe as well, is lift the entire dumbbell by the handle to carry it. And I'll show you why here in a moment. We're just going to put these back in. Okay, so if you think, oh, you know, it's locked in, I can just carry it like that. So I'll put it on, you know, uh, in between 10 and 90. I'll put it in between 10 and 90 and I'll carry my dumbbell this way. The problem is if these dials move even a little bit, <laughs> just a little bit, it's going to unlock while you're carrying this dumbbell. 
and the number that it, it unlocks to will dictate how much of the dumbbell is now not secure in this assembly. So if I put this between 10 and 90 on both sides and I'm carrying it and it's fully loaded and my waist, my hip hits this and rotates it to 10, this is now loose. This can slip right out and this entire remainder of the dumbbell, the weights, the base and everything can just fall to the ground wherever you're standing. So don't use the tabs as a means to carry your dumbbells. It's not really intended for that. Yes, you can try to get away with it. I can put this on between 90 and 85. And I can lift this and I can carry it. But what happens if the dial rotates just a little bit? What happens if the tabs bend just enough to allow the base and the weights, some or all of the weights, to separate and fall to the ground? So for transportation, you should most mostly look at the tabs as a way to lock your handle into the base so that if it tips while you're moving it, then you won't have to go put all the plates back in again and put the handle back in. They'll, they'll, you just tip it back up the way that I showed you earlier. But, um, so don't, I do not recommend carrying a fully loaded 552 or 1090 by its handle locked into its base. Just don't do it. Don't put uh, yourself at risk like that. And definitely do not remove the tabs on your base because removing the tabs on your base sets yourself up for potentially causing weights to fall out of your handle because they're not properly locked. Okay, so, uh, you know, hopefully now you understand why these uh, tabs are so important. And, um, you know, uh, basically it's, it's what the engineers intended for keeping you safe from accidentally having, you know, weights fall out of this because of uh, the dials not being locked from rotation. And uh, if you have any questions about it, uh, leave a comment or write an email to me. My email address is in the description below. Um, and in a future video, I will talk about how to fix these bases when they crack around. They sometimes crack in here around those tabs. And when they do, they become unsafe as well. Uh, and there are ways that you can repair that. And I'll do that in a future video. So uh, that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. If you find these videos useful, I hope you'll subscribe. And uh, I hope you have a great day. And I'll see you in the next video.